What's up, this is your help, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Metro UI theme for Dreamboard. Now, this theme is called Metro 8.2, and it is quite cool. So, let's go ahead and go to Dreamboard and open it up. And so, as you can see right there, there's this theme, it is called Metro 8.2, and so let's load it up. So, as you can see here, it's load, and it just tells us that if we want to go back to our um stock iOS theme we have to click the little windows button which is right here so that's pretty cool but uh, as you can see right here you get pretty much the same experience that you would get on a computer as you can see uh, the moving white wallpaper uh, you get mail, safari, phone, uh, store uh, messaging, weather, music, RSS reader, calendar, photos, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, social uh, games, stocks, iFile, uh, I don't know what's this, you get GarageBand, um, voice memos, tweetbot, Cydia, reminders, pages, numbers, and keynote. And actually, uh, if, uh, since I do not have these ones, if I tap on it, it's not going to do anything. Um, but if I uh, tap on something like Maps, since I do have that application, it is going to open it up. But then we get camera, and media, iTunes store, and videos. And if I go ahead and tap on media, it's gonna load this. And as you can see here, you get music, videos, photos, camera. Um, sorry for that. Uh, and iTunes store. And here you get I file, Facebook, Game Center, Skype, and so some applications. Then you get uh, these ones also. So let's go back and do it out and. Uh, there we go and so yeah so as you can see it is pretty cool and so uh, all the applications work if I tap on it it is gonna load it up and so it out there we go and so if we wanna uh, watch if we wanna um, see all our applications we just have to tap on here and as you can see right there, it loads um, all the application with kind of like an Android loader of stuff. And as you can see here, you get the uh, time, the date, and the month. So as you can see right there, that is pretty cool. And this button, what it allows to do is let you change the orientation of your phone. So as you can see right now, uh, it is in landscape mode. And so now I can use it the same. But the only difference is that it is in landscape mode. So that's pretty cool. If we just want to go back, we just... Uh, Tap the little menu here, or, or where was it? Uh, sorry for that. Oh, there we go. And we just basically need to click it again, just like that. And now we're back to uh, the portrait um, stock mode. And also, one cool feature is the lock screen. So, um, in other Dreamboard themes, you just get the plain uh, iOS lock screen, but with this theme, you actually get uh, the same lock screen as you get on the Windows Metro UI. So as you can see right there, again, it shows the time, the end, the date, and if we just want to sl uh, slide, to, if we want to unblock our device, we just drag it up, up or, da uh, or down or wherever you want to. Just like that, and as you can see right there, you know, you know, you don't block our device. But so as you can see, it is a pretty cool theme, uh, and it's quite um, accurate to what the Metro UI is. But if we wanna, if we wanna go back to our stock iOS theme, we just uh, tap on the little space here, and we tap the Windows logo, and it's gonna prepare the theme switcher, and just select the iOS stock theme, and we're back. But so yeah, this is gonna be about it for this video. I just want to quickly show you this uh, cool theme, so the Windows Metro UI theme. But so thank you for watching this video. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll catch you all later.